Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. If you have thought about riding your bike more, now is the time to hop on those two wheels. September is Bike Month. Today's sponsor, Champagne Center Partnership, Xander Hazel, Executive Director, and Gabe Lewis, Transportation Planner, Champaign County Regional Planning Commission. Join me. So glad to have you both here. Hey, thank you. Yes. Okay. So it's a Bike Month. What do we got going on? Yeah, there's, so there's a lot of events. September is Bike Month. Um, we're kind of kicking it off next week with a number of different events. Um, my favorite one is Bike to Work Day, which is September 14th, Wednesday okay. next week. Rain date, September 16th, but from 7 to 10 a.m. And so this is a really great chance. If you haven't, if you don't ride bikes that often, now's the time to dust it up, pump your tires up, put on your helmet, and then we'll have welcome stations, I think 16 of them, yeah. across the county yep. um, that you can visit, grab a cool t-shirt like Ooh. this one, and a breakfast snack, and then uh, head off on your way to work. Oh, we got a little map there of all the welcome stations so people can kind of see where they're closest to and get on those bikes. You can even have a rain date. That's nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making people ride in the rain. I'm sure many people appreciate that. What's the benefit of hopping on those two wheels and riding your bike? Yeah, health for yes. first. You know, for the first thing gets you your blood pumping and you know get some activity in your day no matter how busy you might be yeah um reduced emissions for the environment you know we're taking cars off the road we normally take 200 cars off the road every year that we do this wow. um you know release or uh, less congestion too with you know fewer cars on the road and also just like social benefits you know you get to go to a welcome station, see your friends, your coworkers, and have a little time to chat outside. It's hopefully good weather. Yeah, Usually September, weather. you yeah. think so. Yeah. Exactly. So. Absolutely. Okay, so here's a question for you. I don't own a bike, but I think this would be fun to participate in. Mm -hmm. How can those that maybe don't own a bike participate? Yeah, so we have the dockless bike share in Champaign-Urbana, the VO ride, and you just download the app on your phone, and then you can... It'll have a map where it shows you the closest bike, and then you can check out that bike and ride it to, you know, wherever you're going. Yeah. We have so, some pictures on the screen there of some of the fun stuff, maybe from last year, Bike to Work Day. That's a pretty good turnout there, and they got those flags to show that they're on the road. What other events can people look forward to throughout this month? Uh, yeah, so another one is Light the Night, and this is one that really spreads awareness about uh, riding uh, bicycles at night. And uh, Gabe can tell you a little bit more about what's it entailed. This is my first year doing it, so cool. I'm really excited, but he knows yes. more about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to have Xander on the <laughs> yes. team. We've got three stations on campus, and so just like for Bike to Work Day, while supplies last, the lights are while supplies last, um, especially for people on campus, um, Helene Gateway, we actually have the MTD bus that's gonna be parked there and folks can practice putting their bike on the bus. Hmm. So you don't do it while you're trying to you know, travel somewhere. But Alma Mater, Helene Gateway, and Campus Bike Center, just bring your bike, and then you get free bike lights installed. So cool. Okay, bike safety. We've got some helmets here. We've got some lights here. Any other things that people should keep in mind if they are planning to hop on their bike for the first time in a while that they should brush up on? Probably wearing a helmet, number one. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> a step one. <laughs> yeah, make sure you have enough air in your tires yeah. and, you know, that the brakes work. Um, there's something called the ABC Quick Check. That C is for uh, the chain. And, uh, you know, make sure that everything's in good work and order. Just take a few minutes before you take your bike out if you, when you want to head somewhere. Maybe give it a test run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go on a night bike ride here right, and there. Weekend, yes, know. absolutely. Yeah. And this potentially could inspire people. They enjoy it so much that they mm -hmm. decide, hey, I'm going to start doing this maybe once a week. Yeah. Or, and, you know, while the weather can, can be tolerable at least. Yeah, well, I mean, we're lucky enough to live um, in a community where there's a lot of really great bike paths and a lot of really great places to le leave your bike and so I hear all the time working downtown that there's not enough parking or there's it's not convenient mm -hmm. but when you ride a bike you can literally park your bike right in front of where you're trying to go and so um, you know this is we we just have a great city with good infrastructure that yeah. supports riding a bike. Are there any bike paths that maybe people should keep in mind or potentially wouldn't know about that you'd say hey try this one out if you want to give your bike a little test run maybe with the family mm. this is a great one to test out any favorites? I mean, long, maybe a little longer distances, yeah. the Kickapoo Rail Trail from cool. Urbana to St. Joe. 
But even in town, you know, a lot of parks have these loop paths that are off street, like Hustle Park and yes. Meadowbrook Park. Mm -hmm. So that's good a ones. really good place to start, you know, riding with the kids. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk um, how people register and make sure that they can take part in, you know, Bike to Work Day and Bike Month in general. Yeah, so all of the information you can find on uh, cubikemonth.org. And uh, you can register uh, to, to go to one of the welcome stations for Bike to Work Day. Um, so we know to expect you, so we know that we have enough uh, shirts and things for you. Um, so that's where you go. And then there's a little survey that you can take to tell us a little bit more about um, how familiar you are with biking. But see you Bike to Month. CUBikeMonth.org yes. has all of the information, has a list of all of the events that are happening in the community. Awesome. Well, it sounds like so much fun. The perfect opportunity. September is usually a great month for weather. Yep. Fingers crossed that it's <laughs> going to be fantastic, especially as many people hopefully are biking to work next week. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much and for the work that you're doing to get people on those two wheels. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, if you are interested in taking part, maybe hopping on your bike this month, we'll connect you with all you need to know at CILiving.tv. And we thank you. Champagne Center Partnership for sponsoring today's segment.